All right, guys, welcome back to another Culver family video. We decided today that we wanted to do a video on all the animals. Um, a lot of them are of our pets, some of them we just take care of. That's what we do for a living, actually, is take care of animals uh, on this ranch for this deer farm. And so we're just gonna do a quick video just to kind of introduce y'all to all the animals that we take care of and our pets. And we're gonna start off with uh, the- Okay, so first up's our two tortoises. And these are sulcatas. They are the third largest tortoises. And this one. This one's Booger. He's our big boy. And he likes to eat. Yeah, that's Booger. And this is Shelly. And believe it or not, they're the same age. He's just growing a lot faster than she is. And we didn't know this, but tortoises sleep about 80% of the time. <laughs> so when we first got them, we thought that they were dead and were really upset. And then after reading, um, they just sleep a lot. They eat and sleep. So. Well, we didn't think they were dead. We thought something, something was, was wrong, wrong with, with them. them. But, I mean, they're active at times. They, they like to eat and they get excited about their food. And then they like to burrow down in the dirt and, and uh, sleep, sleep a lot. We have them in a small enclosure right now. Not small, but... A pretty decent Indoor. setup indoors right now and uh we're kind of waiting on them to get pretty big once they get pretty good size you know we're gonna build them an outside enclosure uh, especially during the summertime you know it's so warm and and we'll have a place for them to uh to get and hide and um, of course we'll have a place for them in the winter time to keep mm -hmm. warm but that's shelly and booger the two sulcata tortoises mm -hmm. And then we have the Haley's bearded dragon. I'm gonna drop. She's nine months old. Yeah, she's nine months old. She's nine months old. We and got her when she was two. We got her when she was about two months old, and then. And she was tiny. Yeah, she, she was, was like, shorter than her tail. Show them about how big she was. She was like from head to tail there. Yeah, there's another. There's an older video that we filmed when we actually first got her mm -hmm. at the Reptile Expo and she was tiny and she's grown a lot mm -hmm. and she's super cool. Haley plays with mm -hmm. her all the time. She hangs out. She's got a good mm -hmm. personality. She loves watching TV. I see, oh yeah, I'll turn on the TV in my room and she'll... Yeah. yeah. She loves being held. She eats millworms and crickets. And loves squash. Loves squash and loves carrots. Carrots and she will eat blueberries out of your hand. Yeah. Super Look cool. at the size difference in Booger and Chili. Like they're the same age. They were the same size when we got them, and he's like double her size. Yeah. And they eat really good. I mean, they eat nonstop. I mean, when they're not sleeping, they're eating. Yeah, I mean, that's what going. they do. All the time, so, it's either sleep or eat. This is suppo Booger supposedly a male, and Shelly supposedly the female. Um, I think they incubate the eggs at a certain temperature to kind of determine. Uh, the sex of tortoises and stuff like that um, but that's the guy we got him from that's what he told us that that was one was a male one was a female and so well I'm gonna get a couple more of them and just kind of have them running around It'd be pretty cool to have so yeah. and they're they're easy to take care of pretty much uh, oh, yeah. but they live forever so you got to be willing to put them in your will yeah yeah, yeah they probably outlive us so but anyways, that's the, uh, the little reptiles that we yep. have at the moment, and uh, we're going to show you the dogs next, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Cam. This is our uh, Chesapeake Bay Retriever. This is the first uh, Chessie that we bought. I actually got her when she was about a little over a year old from another guy, and um, she, as you can tell, she recently just became a mom. We had her bred, and... Um, we, they actually usually have really big litters, but for some reason this time she only had, uh, she had three puppies. Um, one was um, a really small runt and ended up passing away like two days after it was born. But we still have two left. Uh, one of them's going back to the breeder and one of them we haven't decided if we're keeping or not yet, but I wanna show you these little fur balls. So, so first one, this is the first born Reese. She loves to give kisses, don't you? And she's the big butterball. Yep. And she's very feisty. See her? She loves way. loving. She was the big one out of the twins. Yeah, she yeah. she came out just enormous. Yeah. But she's beautiful. Dark chocolate yeah. Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Oh and this is her this sister is Rosie. Rosie. She was a little bit smaller, but she's still really pretty. Yeah, she looks like her mama. This looks like a good. But 
those are her babies the daddy actually we had bred to is uh out in san antonio and um rosie right there goes back to the breeder as part of the deal mm -hmm. and uh reese we don't know yet we don't know if we're gonna keep reese or not we actually have two more chesapeake bay retrievers that uh, we're raising up and uh we will be breeding again uh in the near future but for right now we haven't decided if we're gonna keep her or not so we'll see but cam here is a great hunting dog she loves to play fetch cam here and she'll come right back and Heel. She gonna come to her daddy. Heel. Oh, that's her first. Heel. Good girl. Sit. Give. Yeah, yeah. She's a great dog. We fell in love with the breed after we we got her, and yeah. she's a good hunting dog. She caught my first bird. Yeah, Cherie went on her first duck hunt, and um, she retrieved Cherie's first duck that she ever shot, and so yeah. we. Um, she was she's, Blake's dog and she's claimed me. Yeah, she sort of kind of went to mama now. Um, but she loves, as you can tell, she loves to fetch. And um, we just fell in love with this breed. And we've had her for five years now. And um, she's like the family. She's part of the family. So anyways, but that's, that's Cam and her two pups. And I'm about to show you the two monsters that we have so we got for christmas they're only five months old i got for christmas yeah. and jackson got one you're not gonna believe that these puppies are five months old they're enormous they're the and, size of Cammy. but i think Almost. that they're gonna be <clears throat> we got big plans for them i think they're gonna kind of be the future of what we're trying to do here with this breed so but anyways mm -hmm. all right cam go so here, here is two of the other barn cats. There are five cats total. One is ours and four are the owners. They're all outdoor barn cats. So they keep all the spiders. That's one of the twins. She's got a sister somewhere. Awesome one. And then Haley, oh, this one's name is Michael Jackson. Michael. What's the Bobsy twins name? That one right there, that's peanut butter. That's peanut butter. And, the and then you met one, the black one. And then the other one is Bobby. Bobby, the other twin. Mm -hmm, peanut Bobby. and Bobby. Peanut and Bobby. <laughs> Good deal. And now we're about to meet Bear. Alright, so this is Bear. He's five, a little over five months now. He's another Chesapeake Bay Retriever that we have. And uh, he's our only male that we have. Um, we got this one another female for christmas for the kids this is actually jackson's dog it's all our dog but this is jackson's dog and uh he's a huge huge boy he's just a big goofball and he loves to play he's a little hyperactive right now he's just a puppy still but he's the last time we weighed him was what a few weeks ago and he was 65 pounds and at five months old which is I mean, huge. He was less than five months at the time. Our female Cammy, sixty-seven full grown. Yeah, so. our full grown other female. Yeah, sixty what? Seven. Sixty-seven pounds full grown. This guy here, his daddy was one hundred twenty-five pounds. His mom was over a hundred pounds. Uh, we're expecting him to be one hundred twenty pounds or over a hundred pounds for sure. He's going to be a big, big boy. But uh, let's go weigh him real quick and see what he weighs, just to kind of get an idea. All right. So this is the weight box that we weigh the deer in. And we are about to see how big this boy is. Holy moly. <laughs> how much do you think he is? Uh, 70. 74. Yeah. He's a big boy. So 74 pounds. 74 pounds. 74 pounds and five. He'll be six months. May uh, 1st. May 1st. He'll be six months yeah. old. Yeah. Hey, crazy bear. So, he's a huge boy. He's beautiful too, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's, he's got a dark chocolate reddish tone to him. Oh. Good boy. Now we're going to meet Kono, Haley's pretty girl. All right, guys. So, this is Kono, the other Chesapeake Bay Retriever female that we got. This is Haley's dog. And... <laughs> As you can tell, she's a unique color. Usually, Chessies are a dead grass color, a red color, a chocolate color, um, things like that. And she's what 
some people call a hound point it's kind of marked up like a doberman where she's got these light light tan highlights on her eyebrows and her face and her chest and paws uh but she's a big girl also i don't know what she weighs right now the last time we weighed her she was just over 60 pounds also um and she'll be six months old may 1st as well so <laughs> she's looking at me crazy but she's she's a great dog she loves to retrieve already we're working with her on her obedience she loves kisses. um and she she's a hug. yeah she's a lover she wants you to love on her all day long super super sweet dog except her brother she yeah she actually bull believe it or not she bullies bear around a lot so but this is Haley. smile yeah both uh one of the little quirks about these chessies is they'll they do the smile thing our uh cam our full grown female that you saw earlier she has that smile um some other couple other breeds do it i think the rhodesian ridgebacks do it and uh, all three of ours do it they they kind of yeah they kind of snarl and lift up their gut lips and kind of show their teeth it's not anything of aggression it's just a little quirk that they do so but this is Haley's dog Kono all right 65 pounds wow so he's nine pounds bigger holy moly yeah so wow, she's she not gain much more she looks big though yeah she's not she didn't grow as much this past couple weeks but that's still huge i mean you're talking 65 pounds for a less than six month old pup i mean she's gonna be huge all right so that's all the dogs and next we want to show y'all something special huh mm -hmm. First, we need a baby bottle. <laughs> this is Lulu. This is Lulu. Let me see your mom. This is Lulu, our baby black buck. She's about, how old is she? Uh, like 70 days old, a little over two months. Yeah. Yeah, so Lulu's a black buck uh, doe that we've been bottle raising since she was tiny tiny little baby and uh she's about ready to be weaned so we're slowly working her down to two bottles a day. yeah she's on two bottles a day and then we'll give her one bottle and then no bottles and uh she's hilarious she likes to chase the kids around and and run around and play um watch her if she'll do it no, i'm still hungry i don't got nothing for you And so black bucks are an exotic species in Texas, so there's no laws against keeping one. Um, you don't have to have a special permit or anything like that. Um, on the whitetail deer, I'll show you some of those that we take care of. You do have to have special permitting for which we have on this ranch. And um, we'll go through the deer pens in a minute and I'll show you some of those. They're not pets. They're We raise them here and we take care of them. but. They are not pets, and not we do have all of the permits and everything to uh, to own them and, and keep them the way that we keep them. So, but that's Lulu, little black buck doe. All right, so now we're gonna go in the deer pens and show you all the breeder deer. No fawns in this pen. How many pens total? We have like 14, but not all of them are Indians, so. This is where we get to do the fun stuff. We get to come hand feed them peanuts and, and take care of them. They're real sweet. They're like our pets, even though they're not pets. Just something fun that you'll never get to do in a normal way.
see more stuff like that then uh, let us know and we'll do it um, but that's it it's all the animals right i didn't forget anything nope so we're good all right that's it thank y'all for watching bye, bye.